Hey, it's Kristen here, and we are at the BET Awards pre-dinner hosted by Deborah Lee and Nellie, and we are about to check out the red carpet. So let's go. You are a businesswoman, a mother, just all over, just a powerful woman. How would you describe your power? Hmm. I think my power just comes from a place of confidence and um, believing in myself. You know what I mean? And you know, when you when you have a good foundation and you set your values and morals and you stick to them, then you can feel strong because you don't have to worry about what everybody else is doing, what everybody else thinks. You just do what you know is right and have faith in that, and then you can be really comfortable in any situation around anybody. So you gotta just stay true to you all the time. Can you please describe the first moment you picked up a pair of drumsticks? The first, uh, let's see, drumsticks. Well, my dad and my mom said I was three years old when I started playing. The first performance, I was five, and I played with my dad, but it was uh, congas, not with sticks. So mm -hmm. that was the first time. That was the first time, yeah. and you are here, and you are marvelous. Oh, thank thank you. you. You just mentioned that you guys are like the Avengers, yeah. the Avengers. So who would be the Hulk? Who would be Tony Stark? The Hulk. Um, I'm Sparks, and uh, G is uh, G is uh, what's the guy with the with the, uh, the the long fangs that come out of his hands? Wolverine. Well, yeah, that's him. Okay. Yeah, that's him. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much. What are you looking forward to this weekend? Uh, you know what? I'm leaving tonight on a flight, mm -hmm. so I'm unfortunately going to miss the BET Awards. But Crystal is going to hold it down. Um, this is this is my artist, and my label, Voltron Records. Crystal, she's uh, pretty amazing. And, uh, we're working on her album right now, and we're about 37 songs into her project. And uh, I believe she's gonna change the landscape of the way we see music today. I sang, I put like. No, it's real music. Oh, we'll see, that was Shay. Shots fired. Shots fired. <laughs> you are an accomplished actress. You have seen these young little starlets come and go. What sort of advice would you give to young, some of these young starlets who are trying to make a name for themselves in the business? Uh, that's a good question. I would say know who you are. Know who you are. What is, who are you? And then that way, you can handle the rejection. There's going to be a lot of rejection. You know, I was in the business 20 years before Color Purple, but people only remember me as Suge in Color Purple. But I was rejected I don't know how many times. And you have to like go in an interview, do your best, study, so that when you get a shot, you know you're doing your best, and then forget about it. But if you're not secure with who you are, uh, that's how we get into drugs, bad relationships, and, uh, and a good relationship with God. I think that's very important. Mm -hmm. I would like to win a Cadillac, <laughs> particularly maybe white. Maybe a white. I can oh, see you. Black. Oh, black I can. always looks. So and that good. never looks so fierce yeah. on you. How am I gonna win one? See, we don't have to. We don't have to hook you up. <laughs> I need to know. You know, what type of advice would you give to couples going at it again, second time around? Um, I, Greg and I just said this for the second time. Uh, first of all, it can't be no third time. So you really, I think when, when couples like Greg and I get married for the second time, you kind of know what you're getting. Mm -hmm. So it's not like you're getting something you don't know. You know, I know what I'm waking up to every single day. You know, I, I think for any couple that's doing this the next time around, I just think that they need to really communicate and really love and respect each other. Okay, okay. And I have a question for both of you. Yeah. Each That's one great. of you. No, I want each one of you to yeah. get to describe me. your love affair in one word. My love affair. One word. Magnificent. Oh, can you beat that? Absolutely. Accomplished. There we have it, folks.